spirit of everyone became as a, a an energy generator and they've they've transformed the the, the country in in just a matter of uh, five ten years betsy as you mentioned a lot of it has to do with education mm -hmm. and uh apparently in germany they made sure people were educated and understood what this was you said that the rover that you that you developed is going to be a great tool in education right in educating people will you be mass producing these for sale or for distribution to other companies or groups that are encouraging the use of alternate energy sure and we, we will be doing that and i think you have to understand though that the rover is really for um installers it's really to teach the installation of solar thermal um it's it's not really appropriate at the like public school level um but there are other other things and and just like recycling back in the 70s was taught to the school kids and it filtered up to the parents i really think that um that's where solar energy has to go we have to put more solar on schools talk to the kids about it so the kids can talk to their parents and have an understanding that solar energy is not strange or weird. It's just another way that we can get energy in our houses. And I always tell the kids that I meet at the county fairs, you know, you're going to grow up and you're going to have solar panels on your house and it's just going to be like any other appliance that you have at your house. I'll throw this question out um, and either of you can jump in. There are some places I've seen where they had these huge parabolic mirrors right. to, to focus solar. Is that for solar thermal or mm -hmm. could that also be focused into? That's a great question. That's actually for both. What happens is the parabolic mirrors are focusing the energy on a, on a tube. And in that tube is a liquid um, that heats up to super high temperatures. Um, so that is solar thermal, but then the liquid uh, turns a turbine to create electricity, which creates solar electricity. So you're actually marrying the two into one system there. But there is no system that would concentrate like on a, on a semi bright day here in the Northeast, that uh, parabolic thing contraption could throw enough light into uh, the photoelectric cells. To well, they're, well they're, they're developing photoelectric cells that can take, you know, 10 suns which is the the intensity of of 10 suns and and uh i remember dr david borton at rpi would would he ca would carry around this tiny little it was maybe a half inch by a half inch solar cell and he said this can create 40 watts with a parabolic reflector on it and that's that's mighty impressive in New York City, I believe the Steinway Piano Company has a demonstration project on their roof of a parabolic system um, that was funded partially by um, NYSERDA. And, uh, it's, it's actually a solar thermal air conditioner. It runs an absorption chiller with heat, like a propane fridge. Mm -hmm. So it heats up ammonia or lithium bromide and boils it off. And then when it condenses down, it pulls heat out of the building pretty amazing yes it is I was saying. <laughs> and we we actually have a grant to do a similar project from the usda next summer if we can ever <laughs> get it get it off the ground but yes we 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 we've received a grant well for solar air conditioning solar air conditioning right cooling with the heat, with the heat, the heat from the sun from the sun right wouldn't that be something yeah but um this has been fascinating. I learned an awful lot and had without even opening my mouth, I had misconceptions, so I didn't sound stupid. I'm thinking here, the first time I learned about solar power was I, I was a Cub Scout and they took the magnifying glass <laughs> and a piece of paper and taught us how to set pieces of paper on fire by focusing on this little magnifying glass and then Said so now, if you can do paper, you can do leaves and twigs and start a fire. You know, boy, we've come a long way since Boy Scouts <laughs> trying to start a campfire. I thank you, uh, Betsy and Jody, for coming in and informing this American landscape. And let me give the website for those of you who are listening. Um, we're going to link this with the program, so those of you who go and get the program and are listening to this program, you can click the link 
It's uh, sundogsolar.net, sundogsolar, all one word, .net, and solaqua.org. Those two websites will give you everything you need to know about uh, the exciting stuff that's going on uh, in rural upstate New York by Sundog Solar and Solaqua Arts. Once again, Jody and Betsy, thanks so much for coming in. Thanks, Jim. Thanks for having thank us you. on.